moves by Norway, France and the EU to curb or eliminate the use of palm oil in biofuel is a big worry for Malaysia, where the crop sustains some 650,000 smallholders and earns the country billions of dollars a year. One after another, you know, countries uh, in Europe, they are going to pass this kind of uh, uh, rules uh, or resolutions in their parliament. This is going to affect the bilateral relations. There are so many things that we imported from Europe. And for Malaysia, we only sell palm oil, our commodity to them. And then yet, you know, they try to limit our product. Malaysia and Indonesia produce 90% of the world's palm oil. Half of their exports to Europe end up in biofuel. Almost all larger Malaysian plantation companies are members of the Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil, which also includes manufacturers and environmental NGOs. To be certified as sustainable, palm oil companies cannot cut any primary forest. The Round Table is moving to ban clearing of high conservation value secondary forest as well. What would be useful is for countries which are concerned about deforestation uh, in the region is to bring up this issue, to look into this issue of traceability. So thereby you, you, you punish the bad player, the one who is producing oil from unsustainable practices, you support the good players. That would drive the whole market towards creating palm oil, which is sustainable. By year-end, Malaysia aims for all smallholders to also be certified as sustainable under a new certification program. But it seems unlikely it will be enough to nip in the bud the European anti-palm oil momentum. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Kuala Lumpur.